Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. So we are back with another illustration lesson where we are going to learn how to use the Shape Builder tool in Adobe Illustrator. So here we are going to learn how to merge shapes together, how to subtract shapes, how to get an intersection of common shape area or how to exclude common shape area from overlapping shapes. And at the end of this lesson, we are going to use all these techniques and create a logo of a beard oil company. Okay, so let's jump into Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so let's pick the rectangle tool. And I have picked white as the fill and black as the stroke color. Let's create a square over here. Let's duplicate this shape. Press and hold the Alt key and drag it horizontally. Let's scale it down. Again, duplicate it and put it over here. Again, let's duplicate it and put it over here. So what I have done is if I select all the shapes together, we have lots of areas that are overlapped in between. Now let's scale it down. Put this group of shape over here. Let's duplicate this group of shape and put it over here. Again, select all of this, duplicate and put it over here. So let's select this group of shapes and let's activate the Shape Builder tool. So this is the Shape Builder tool in Adobe Illustrator. You can even use the shortcut key shift plus M. So left press shift plus M and your shape builder tool has been activated. Right now, if you bring the cursor on this shape, on the selected shapes, you can see each of these isolated borders are getting highlighted like this. Now to merge shapes together, you simply have to click and drag like this. So th the area that are highlighted I have already merged. So if you just lift the click and press the V, select the shape, you can find that this whole thing got merged like this. Now you can even go further, select this whole shape again, press Shift plus M to activate the Shape Builder tool. Then again, click and drag. First of all, remember to cross this particular boundary to merge. So this shape is also merged. If you want to merge this one with this one and this one, you can do this. Simply start over here and from here, just bring the cursor over here. Just simply click and drag. You can even do it like this. Now, if you press V to activate the selection tool, if you select the shape, you can find that all of these shapes are merged together. So now we are going to learn how to subtract shapes with the help of Shape Builder tool. So let's select this group of shapes and let's activate the Shape Builder tool again. Press Shift plus M. Now to subtract shapes, you need to click and drag, but if you normally click and drag, the shapes will merge. So before clicking and dragging, you have to press and hold the Alt key and then click and drag like this. And the highlighted area that you have clicked and dragged will be subtracted. You can even do it over here. Click and drag. This highlighted area got subtracted. You can do it over here as well. Just press the Alt key, press and hold the Alt key and then click on it. And this highlighted area got subtracted. So right now, if you again do the same, select the group of ships, then activate the Shape Builder tool, press and hold the Alt key and click and just simply one click would do the work as well. So the highlighted area got subtracted. So that, how, that is how you can subtract ships with the help of Shape Builder tool. So let's see how to get an intersection of a common shape area. Let's select this group of ships, activate the Shape Builder tool. 
Now select any common area of a ship. Let's click on this, a single left click on this. And right now if you click on this ship and drag it around, you will see it's got isolated. Same with the other one as well. If you simply click on this one and then click and drag it, you will get a isolated ship like this. So now we are going to see how to exclude common ship area from overlapping ships. So let's select this group of ships. But for this one, I would like to change the fill color to some different color. Let's cancel out the strokes for now and let's activate the shape builder tool. To exclude some common area, let's exclude this one. For that, press and hold the Alt key and a single click on it. And right now, this area got excluded. If you want to exclude this one, press and hold the Alt key and then single click on it. You can exclude like this just like this. So that is all about the shape builder tool in Adobe Illustrator. Now let's design some complex shapes and design a logo like this. Okay, so now let's pick an ellipse tool and create a circle. Let's duplicate the shape for that. Press and hold the Alt key and drag it horizontally. And after that, Let's pick a rectangle and create a rectangle over here. And I'm taking help of this smart guides, this violet colored guides to properly intersect with the edges. If you don't have smart guides on your uh, illustrator turned on, then come over here in views and turn on this ticket over here or simply use the shortcut key control plus U. Okay, so now we are going to put the rectangle like this. After that, let's put it exactly at the center of the circle and duplicate this circle once again. Put it over here. Now after that, we are going to select all the ships Activate the Shape Builder tool and let's subtract this particular ships. For that, press and hold the Alt key and then click and drag this area, this one as well, and this one as well. And we are going to merge all this together. For that, simply click and drag it like this. All right, now let's round up this corner. Okay, after that, we're going to duplicate this ship once again, then go to transform, reflect, reflect it horizontally, and then again, reflect it vertically, and put it over here, and slightly adjust the position. All right, select both the ships together, merge it together, and after that, we got our here ship. Let's delete this extra ships. Let's scale it down a bit. And let's copy and duplicate the ship once again. And put it over here. All right, so our almost structure of the logo is done. Now, let's put a rectangle over here. After that, let's put an ellipse over here, exactly at the center with the help of smart guides. Select both the ships, again activate the shape builder tool and press and hold the alt key and click on it to subtract this area. So after that, we are going to Duplicate this ship once again. Select both the ships, group it together. And after that, select everything and again, go to align and align it with horizontal center. 
Okay, now we are going to create a mouth for this particular region. For that, pick another rounded rectangle and duplicate the shape once again. Let's scale it down in Y axis and put it exactly at this edge. After that, select both the shapes and activate the Shape Builder tool and cancel out this extra portion. Let's select this shape and put it over here. All right, so select all these shapes together and go to a line and align it with horizontal scent. So like this, you can create, you can use the Shape Builder tool to create some complex shapes like this. So that is it for this lesson. Hope you liked it. If you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, make sure to comment down. I will be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.